to my channel. For today, I have a collective haul. What this means is that these are a couple of items that I've been picking up throughout the month, basically ever since I got to Georgia. So don't worry, I didn't get all of this at once. But we do have a couple of things to go through. Um, clothing items, beauty items, shoes, jewelry. So yeah, let's get started. So the first store I have for you guys is Forever 21. Forever 21's plus size section has always kind of been a hit and a miss for me. Sometimes I walk in and I really like what they have, other times I don't. This time I walked out with only one item and it is this peplum top. And I really like the color. I don't have anything of this color in my wardrobe. And I didn't even bother to try it on because about a year or maybe even two years ago they came out with the exact same top but in a different pattern so I just knew it was gonna fit um, so yeah that's the only thing I snacked from Forever 21 the next store I have for you guys is Wet Seal Wet Seal just came out with a plus size line and I thought I would go ahead and check it out this is a gray baby doll top it is just very thin material very flowy and very comfortable you may have seen me wear it in my first video. And I also picked up these little floral bun crowns. Actually, I think they call them ponytail holders, but I'm gonna use them as bun crowns because I wear lots of buns and I've never been able to rock the floral crowns. So I thought I might be able to pull these off. Since I just moved to Georgia, that means I have a whole new place to decorate. I knew I immediately wanted to go to Anthropology to pick up some home decor stuff. While I was there, I saw this black maxi dress. And this dress was in the petite section. And it's just so pretty. It has um, lace detailing at the top and also at the bottom. It has the see-through lace panel. It's just a little bit of a high-low skirt. Like I said, this dress was from the petite section. I saw it, I knew it was like very roomy, very flowy, so I knew I was gonna fit. I went for it and I love it. I've already worn it a ton. I already have a picture up on my Instagram. And yeah, it just goes to show you that not everywhere you're gonna be the same size. So if you see something and you think you're gonna fit in it, don't be shy, go for it, try it on. And yeah, you just might find something that you love. The next item is from Nordstrom and it was a gift from my Titi Maria. And it is just this very pretty, very bright floral midi skirt. And this is from the brand Tilden. <laughs> And once again, this is a large, it's not from the plus size section, but it's very roomy, very flowy. I knew it was gonna fit. And I just love the pattern, it's so summer. All of these like patterned things, brights, are kind of new to me. I tend to go for like very dark clothing, so you know, it's fun to switch up your wardrobe every now and again. <laughs> so on Sunday, for the first time in my life, I went to a Nordstrom Rack, and I think I may have found my new favorite store. They have great items like brands. They have Kate Spade and you know Michael Kors and Marc Jacobs and they just have them for like discounted prices so I am totally hooked. <laughs> the first thing I picked up while I was there is this denim jacket. Now I know these jackets were very popular fall of last year so I'm just crossing my fingers that they make a comeback and it is the denim jacket with the sweatshirt kind of sleeves and this is just so comfortable it is from the brand ooh, uh, Cijour I think that's how you say it sorry if I'm butchering it um, and this was from the plus size section but yeah I'm just really really hoping that I could wear this come fall because it is really comfortable also from Nordstrom Rack I picked up this really beautiful necklace and for a very long time, I've wanted a necklace with this kind of rope instead of a chain because there's just something about it that is so chic and sophisticated to me. So yeah, I am very happy with this purchase and I can't wait to style it. Okay guys, so we still have a couple of items from Nordstrom Rack. I told you, no favorite store, it went kind of crazy. Next, I picked up these plain white Keds. There is just something about white shoes that I've been loving lately because I also picked up this pair of white Sperry's while I was at DSW. 
um, these shoes are just so comfortable and by the way if you guys are headed back to school or back to college you should seriously consider getting yourself a pair of these shoes these are my third pair of berries because the first ones I killed my last two years of college and I just get them in these kind of neutral colors so that I can mix and match them with different outfits and also at Nordstrom Rack I picked up the same kind of Keds but in this kind of cream tan pattern it's just tan with polka dots and they were just so cute that I could not leave them behind so also at Nordstrom Rack they sell makeup which means that I was totally suckered in I picked up this Lorac Stay Cool eyeshadow palette I have not yet purchased a Lorac Pro palette I've been putting it off because I love my Urban Decay Naked One and Naked Basics so much this palette kind of reminded me of the Naked Basics, but it is very different. So the Naked Basics comes with six colors that are kind of very neutral, very brown. This one comes with five. Here you have a white, a silver, a dark turquoise, a taupey brown, and a black. The white one is shimmery, kind of iridescent. Three ones in the middle are metallic, and the black is matte. I'm actually using this palette today. I have the taupey brown on the lid, a little bit of the black really blended into the crease and smudged along the bottom lash line, and I used the white to highlight under my brow bone. I will say that this palette is very pigmented but very blendable at the same time, and it was just $12, so it is a total steal. The very last thing I picked up from Nordstrom Rack was the NYX Butter Gloss in Tiramisu. This stuff is so raved about in the beauty community on YouTube and on blogs that I had to try it out for myself. I was really curious as to whether this was a dupe for my favorite lip gloss which is the Hourglass Extreme Sheen High Shine Lip Gloss in Canvas which is this one. So you guys can see that it is pretty similar in color but the Hourglass is darker, more pigmented, it's less sticky and longer lasting. I'm actually using the NYX today and I really like it. But let me go ahead and do a quick side-by-side -side comparison for you guys. Just a little swatch here. First I'm applying the NYX Butter Gloss. Let me really pack it on there so you can see the colors. And now I'm just gonna apply the Hourglass. You guys can see for yourself, this is the Hourglass, this is the NYX. The Hourglass is darker, but the NYX is a little bit more shiny. Like I said, I'm using the NYX on today, I like it. It was only five bucks, so you don't have much to lose. So the next item I have is from Lush. Now, we don't have a Lush back home in Puerto Rico, but my best friend slash sister Mariana used to work for them, and she got me hooked on their products. This is the Ocean Salt Face and Body Scrub. Now, I haven't been brave enough to use it on my face because I have very sensitive skin, but I do use it on my body in the shower, and it is great at exfoliating. Not only does it exfoliate, but it also brightens the skin, which means it has a little bit of lime. The first time I used this product, I had a little cut on the back of my hand, and it burn <laughs> so just make sure that you don't get this anywhere near any cuts or anything because it is gonna hurt but nevertheless this is a great product and you should definitely pick it up next time you're at a lush okay so the last four items are from Ulta I'm gonna start with the Garnier BB cream for combination to oily skin by the time this video goes up I should have already posted a review of this on my blog so I'll have that linked down below for now I'll say that this BB cream didn't really work for me for some reason. I know that there are a lot of people who actually like this BB cream. And yeah, I'm still on the hunt for a really good drugstore BB cream. So if you guys have any suggestions, make sure to leave those down below so that I can check them out. So if you guys saw my July favorites video, then you know I've been loving the OPI No Polish and Charged Up Cherry. I said I would pick up more shades and I did. So here I have Bubble Bath and Berlin there done that. I just thought that these were very classic, very neutral shades and I can't wait to try them out. And the very last item to conclude this haul are the Crest 3D White Strips in Glamorous White. This box is empty, I already used all of these up 
and I will quickly say that I really enjoyed this product. It did not make my teeth sensitive and I saw a noticeable difference in the shade of my teeth. I would not hesitate to buy these in the future and yeah, I really like them. That concludes my very extensive summer haul. I hope you guys found this somewhat entertaining and or helpful. Maybe you got some ideas for your next shopping trip. Don't blame me if you go overboard. <laughs> Everything mentioned in this video is going to be listed in the down bar along with links to the items that are still available online. Like always, I'll also have my blog linked down below just in case you guys want to check it out along with my social media links so that we can stay connected. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel so that you're notified every time I put out a new video. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for stopping by and until next time, bye.